You're with Pastorpedia. We like the name. Wikipedia stole it from us. It just means an encyclopedia of things about pastoring. I'm Newt Larson. I'm with Jim Brown from Goshen and Jeff Bogue from Akron. And we're delighted to be a part of this, aren't we, you guys? I am delighted to be a part of this. I'm delighted that they, they're here with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this time, this time our subject is a huge one, but it's very personal. Our godly example. We made up the title, God made up the prescription and the goal. What do you think of, or what's big to you, or what are your, uh, what's a goal you have about being a godly example to your people? We all know we have to be. Jim? I would, I would keep it simple. I, I want to I first I love my wife, I want to love my kids, and I want to love my, my people. Obviously, God's above that. So I want to live in such a way that the way I love my wife, love my God, and love, love my children, it lets other people see that. And in tune, that leaves a godly legacy, my hope. My hope is, in doing that, I give my life away, use all of my talents and gifts that God has given me, and don't waste them. It's pretty, pretty simple. If you look at my business card, it says, I'm a husband, father, pastor. I want to keep those in line and do the best job I can do. And that's hard to do. It is. It really is. Jeff, what's the goal you have? I would have those same goals, not to love Jim's family, but my own. Um, <laughs> Thanks but, for clarifying. They, um, I would, I maybe start a step uh, above some of that in my mind anyways. The, the number one thing I want my folks to see is I want them to see a man of God that does not argue with the Bible. So I want them to see a, me find God, experience God, understand him from the scriptures, and then see every aspect of the scripture woven into my life, which is going to equal me loving my, my wife, my family, my children, and then all areas of that. I, I, I think um, the number one sign of discipleship is you quit arguing with God's word, and you start embracing it and downloading it. And so that's what I want them to see me do, and, and to see me turn to God's word, to see me pay the prices sometimes that come with those kind of decisions. And it spills into all aspects of my life, love, and integrity. So I think on a, on a high level, that's where I would start at. I think it's great. I, I would summarize for me, too, and probably all of us, protect, I would say, guard and lead and do it well. I want to protect my family. I want to guard my family and those that I love, and I want to lead them well. So that, that, that would somehow fall into that, too. I had as one of my goals, might be off the subject, but I don't think so, to be seen as a normal human being, too. I, people in the church, I, a part of it's wonderful respect and good, healthy respect, but some of it is they can put you on a pedestal. You know, I, I've had people through the years, not so much anymore, but start a conversation with, I know you've never faced this, you know. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. And I always yeah. say, well, what is anger like? Yes, what's pride or lust? <laughs> so they, I, but sometimes pastor, any of us can preach in another world or act like yeah. we've never faced what they're facing. So that's part of it. Because otherwise you're not an example, you're just a, an icon. And talking in theory instead of uh, in real life application. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would agree. I love when I want, often one of my guys, Jeremiah, will come to me and, and encouraged me. He said, Jim, just tell your story. Tell, tell them from your heart. And so th those same things, just be real, just really be real. What helps you, what helps us grow in our own godliness other than our own sermon, sermons? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I listen to my own podcasts and they're life changing. Oh, good. <laughs> so I, I love that. I listen to Jeff's okay, too. Yeah, I'm a better yeah, godly me man too. now. Me too. Let's Actually, conclude I pull out, I pull with out some this. VHS tapes of yours, Newt, to listen to. <laughs> Thank you. I got out the wax cylinder and put it on my phonograph, and it's, it was powerful. Your Thank early you. stuff was amazing. Thank you for joining us today. As Next month, we'll have two other <laughs> I Just spending time with God. I, if, if I'm not... Getting to know God, if I'm not having, I do, I have regular quiet time. I love my own time in God's word. If the word isn't impacting me, how in the world can I use it to impact others? So it, my relationship with God and, it, and prayer too, uh, spending time talking to God, 
is, is communication with them. If it's I not don't, a secret, is it? It isn't. It's not. It's talk, <laughs> I'm talking to my father, who 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 loves me dearly, and uh, it impacts my life. Yeah. I wanted to say something. I, you guys are welcome to argue with it, carefully. <laughs> Our job works both ways as pastors. It, it, you can do it just because it's a job and you're going to get up Sunday and preach, but it also helps to think, when, when I'm serious about the responsibility of these people and, and to live as a godly example, the job is a great help too, mm-hmm. isn't it? I agree strongly with that. I, I feel like I'm, I'm actually grateful for the build-in accountability, the build-in time to go to the, the Word of God. I had a pastor one time say to me, your sermon prep is totally different than your devotional. Oh, time. no way. And I thought that was dumb. Yeah, it is, and, and it so is dumb, by I, the way. I, our vocation, we get to go into our office, shut the door, be left alone, and spend hours with the Lord. In fact, you shouldn't preach a sermon if that passage hasn't changed your heart anyways. So I, I love that. And I, I often think in, in some ways... Uh, we get off a, a little bit easy, or it's a it's a blessing of the oh, vocation man. is a better way to say it. And yeah, I'm grateful for that. Even even the glass house, talk about accountability and all those kind of things. It helps. I'm grateful for it, and it wears me out sometimes too. But I'm glad it's there. Let's just think about it. We get paid to tell people about Jesus Christ. We get paid, and we've been called to do that. God believed in us. He gave us that calling. He trusts us, so why not do it and do it well? And the good side of Glass House is you get to show in a restaurant, they know who you are, you get to show how you treat your wife. Yeah. I mean, you got to make the best of all these, and there's wonderful. Oh, be a godly example. It's work, and it's something we got to all work at. And guess what? Our Lord helps us, and we're all human beings. Um, one of the... One of the a famous speaker who helped many people, pastor, one of the things that people said in a survey about his sermons was, he's one of us. Mm-hmm. I would agree with that. When I hear someone speak, like, that's real. He's real. I relate to that. Yep. Thank you for being with us. About a godly example, our papers will say a lot more, but we wanted to just say this much and urge you to keep following Christ. Who was it that said, follow me as I follow Christ? Mm-hmm. You're with Pastor Pedia. I'm Newt Larson, Jim Brown, Jeff Bogue. Thank you very much.